thank you. Um, today we've come to the Ullaby landfill site to search for the remains of Geoffrey McLean. As you're aware, Geoffrey was a missing person in late 2022 and um, we subsequently identified that Geoffrey had been murdered and a number of people are in custody in connection with his death. As part of the investigation, we've been able to recover obviously Geoffrey's torso, but there are other body parts um, that have been missing. The investigations identified that those remains were placed into rubbish bags and in the rubbish bins of people living um, in the vicinity of where the offenders lived. As a result of the excellent cooperation we've had from the people here, we've been able to identify where 70% of the rubbish from that area has gone and that's come to the Eulabri landfill um, and it's been packed into um, large bales um, similar in size to a wool bale and each weighing about one and a half tonnes. Today, members from Major Crime, Forensic Response, Forensic Science SA and Recruit Course 57 have come here today to commence the search of those bales and we've been assisted in the setting up and preparing for this search by the MFS. I expect we'll be here for several days um, and if Jeffrey's remains are in those bales I'm confident that we will find them um, but the reality is we do need a little bit of luck because we know that 30% um, of the rubbish from that area we do not know where it's gone but as I say with the resources we've got and the area we've identified um, we have a good chance of recovering his remains. So we're running um, two shifts, we're starting shift at uh, 7 o'clock and another one around um, midday. Um, they come, um, the people from the landfill remove um, the large bales from where they're stacked and stored and drag them out into the open about four to six at a time and then the search teams um, systematically pull those apart and look at all of the contents to see if um, we can find any of Jeffrey's remains. Are working on the search? There's about 30 working on the search spread over two shifts um, so that they're not working for an extended time, any individual, so we can rotate the people through and, and give them pr plenty of breaks. And how many bales do you think it is all up that you'll be searching through? Uh, somewhere between 100 and 150 and each one has about one and a half tonnes. How confident are you in getting something from this, a result from this search? Well as I said, um, 70% of the rubbish from that area we're confident has come here and we're very comfortable with the information that's been provided by the um, people that run this facility. Um, so they've been able to identify those bales. I'm confident we've got the right bales, um, but we just need his remains to be in these bales. If they are, then I'm sure we'll find them. Is it all by hand or are there particular tools that are used to make it easier? They're using um, rakes and other tools and, and where necessary using hands. So they're wearing special suits and safety gear and uh, there's a lot of effort got into the planning both by the landfill people here and by our people to see or to ensure that we can do it safely. Um, so it, it will take a while but um, it's worth the effort. And just for um, Jeffrey's family, how important is it for them to have the rest of his body? I, uh, I'm sure that nobody would want um, their loved ones discarded and put into a landfill um, and we're committed to doing everything humanly possible to recover his remains no matter how um, difficult or challenging that might be or how long it takes. Are the rubbish bags distinctive at all? Yeah, some of the rubbish bags are distinctive. We've got good vision of some of the bags going in, into trucks so we, we've got an indication of what bags we're looking for but of course that doesn't mean they haven't been torn apart in the process. Um, so we'll just see how we go and um, everybody will put in a big effort and, and hopefully we're rewarded. If you can't find him in this search, what's the next step? Uh, we'll just go back, reassess and, and plan a way forward. Um, we do have to consider the possibility that um, if Jeffrey's not here that we won't be able to identify um, the other 30% of rubbish. All good everybody? Any, um, as far as that 30%? Saying, but is, are there any, any ideas of where that could be? No, no, no. This searching here gives us the best chance to recover Jeffrey. Okay, thanks everybody. Thank you.